welcome to this special show on CNN IBN. I'm Rajiv Masand. Now to talk to us about the new film Jab Tak Hai Jaan, which releases this Diwali on the 13th of November, we have with us the two very lovely leading ladies of the film, Katrina Kaif, Anushka Sharma. Welcome to the show. such a pleasure to have you here with us in the studio today. We're so happy to talk to you about your new film. I'm guessing there's a lot of excitement. Diwali's around the corner. This is your big Diwali release. I think it's more than just the usual Friday nerves. Um, normally, I'm getting almost hyper before the Friday. I just hope the film does well. I hope people like it. But I think this time, um, there is a little emotion, a little more extra emotion attached to it. Um, with the SG passing away, it being his last film. Um, everything kind of happening so suddenly. So I, I think this time it's not really the the Friday jitters or the Tuesday jitters, sorry. Right. The rally's on Tuesday. But I think it's more just um, the, the whole experience is, you know, has been very special and emotional for everybody now. So just, I think we want people to really love the film sure. more than just about it doing well. Sure. More than the, just the typical release, Anushka? Yeah, you know, strangely, it's, it, it doesn't seem like a... Friday release, like she said, uh, but also, because, you know, like when you have a um, show in your, um, like a school or something, like annual day function, and mm. when it's, not, it's really not about, like you're not, you're just excited about it, not sure. nervous, nervous. Strangely, that's the kind of feeling I'm, fe uh, I'm having, maybe because it's, it, it has a, a deeper meaning, the right. release to, uh, to all of us now, mm. um, more than just whether it's going to do well or not, not bothered by that, I guess. And now maybe we should address the elephant in the room, that empty chair. What? Um, oh, chair, this, this is for a handbag. It's for your leading <laughs> man. <laughs> Might as well use it for your handbags. Oh. It was meant for your leading man, Shah Rukh Khan, um, who is apparently late. Good things come to those who wait. Oh. You're on a roll. <laughs> but you know, I hear the strains of the music from your film. This is this is only my love for the guy who criticizes our films the most. <laughs> thank you for having me over and thank, thank you, you girls. Shara, and thank you for being here. <coughs> Shara, the guitar has really been something that, that has come with you in a sense, hasn't it? I mean it's you are the ultimate romantic hero, am I right? Yeah. No one does romance quite like Shah Rukh Khan. Whether it's you know spreading the arms, I I, I don't do it half as well. I shouldn't even try. And then the guitar. I mean, do you remember how many times you've you played the guitar on screen, Shah Rukh? I don't know the mandolin. I know. Yeah. Uh, Dilwale. In, in Dilwale. Yeah. Tang 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 tang. Guys, you remember? <laughs> Pardes, my favorite song. Yeah, Pardes. Uh, do dil. Do dil. Yeah, that one I done. But this is the first time I was told while I was trying to uh, do the song by my co-actor uh, Katrina Kaif, who said, "You know, what are you doing? You don't know the chords." <laughs> <laughs> so I, I just like how you know Rajiv uh, demystified my romance by saying, spreading the arms. So I told her, it's not the chords, darling. Feel the way I'm singing for you. Uh, whether I play the chords or not, I'll do it so well that you fall in love when I do it. Challa, and then she paid me money and went off. Yeah. She, was, <laughs> she knows how to play the guitar, doesn't she? Oh, so, oh, so she claims. <laughs> oh, there's only one way to find out. Find out. Go on, take a shot. Okay, Shahrukh's going to. Challa, challa for uh, Katrina and me. Okay, That's fine. Challa. Played. Who's See? strumming, you or me? Whatever you want to do. I want to strum. <laughs> the me, you just, me, you just feel. Okay. What's the trick, Shah Rukh, in you know, playing an instrument convincingly, even though one may not really know how to do it like a musician? What's the trick in doing it convincingly? You've done it so many times. The person that I learned it from, I think who played it the best and still does, and I don't think anyone in the filmic style, or maybe, sure. uh, I don't know, I've never asked him, knows it, I think is Mr. Rishi Kapoor. So I, I cannot 
think of him when I'm doing it, but he's really cool. I think he's much, much better than anyone else can be. Otherwise, what you do is, uh, like I was told I, uh, when, when Katrina pointed out, you know, I was doing this really intense scene with her where I'm teaching her to play the guitar and she said, you know, yeah, your chords are wrong. So I'm like, yeah, but you know, the scene is about something, I mean, please allow me, I've kind of, you know, worked as much as uh, your age. So, you know, if you... <laughs> so she said, no, but the chords are wrong. So, I feel really bad that I'm distracting uh, this wonderful actor from a scene because my chords are wrong. So I, I called upon uh, the producer and I said, my chords are wrong. So he says, so what do we do now? wrong, it's wrong. But then they were very sweet. Uh, they got me a gentleman called Alex, okay. uh, who's a musician. And uh, then I got him to try and teach me, which didn't work. So he would, throughout the song, stand in front of me and, you know, play it. So the strumming part is kind of okay. okay. The chords uh, are still wrong. Okay. And uh, till I get the chords right, uh, Katrina said she won't act with me ever again. So That's why I'm, I'm learning every musical instrument <laughs> before I go for Katrina film again, because you never know what part might be wrong. So this time, I want to work really hard and, um, uh, yeah. Just to clarify, I've never said anything like that. Okay, which, which looks like a more trusting face. <laughs> Even vaguely, it doesn't sound like a thing. Okay, we've got the trailer of uh, Jab Tak Jaan. Let's take a look at the trailer and then I have a few more questions. All right. Teri aankhon ki namkeen mastiyan Teri haansi ki paper wa gustakhiyan Teri zulfon ki lehrati angdaiyan Nahi bhoolunga mein जब तक है जा जब तक है जा तेरा हाथ से हाथ छोड़ना तेरा सायों का रुख मोड़ना तेरा पलट के फिर न देखना नहीं माफ करूंगा मैं जब तक है जान तेरे झूठे कसमे वादों से तेरे जलते सुलगते खाबों से तेरी बेरहम दुआओं से नफरत करूंगा मैं जब तक है जान जब तक है जान वेरी कूल आई हैव टू आस्क द गर्ल्स यू नो they say that really you look into Shahrukh Khan's eyes and sort of <laughs> romance is just there. Is that really true? Tell me how it works. Don't, don't fight over it. Just take your time. <laughs> when you're around Shahrukh, he just makes you feel so comfortable in that space and makes you feel that whatever we're doing right now is true. He just creates that atmosphere for you. Okay. So loving him is very easy. Right. And you've done it twice over now. <laughs> Thrice. She did it with two guys in one film and then <coughs> right. one guy in this one. Yeah. That's right, actually. That's right. Katrina? <laughs> yeah, you do. Yeah? yeah. <laughs> she forgets so much she calls him by wrong names also sometimes. <laughs> Ramesh? <laughs> Shahrukh, it's true, really. All the actresses say that. They say that Shahrukh can pretty much make even mundane lines sound romantic. We played a little game. What we did is we asked the audience, when we asked some of your fans, to write any line that just came to them naturally. <laughs> We've got a few chits. I'm going to I'm going to present to you these chits. You okay. pick up one of those chits. I, I have to I have to warn you, they're not romantic lines. And you choose the girl from the audience right. and say that line to her romantically. And if she feels weak in the knees, if she agrees that she goes weak in the knees, yeah. then we will take it that there is just nobody when it, you know like Shahrukh Khan with, when with it comes all, to romance. With all humility, I don't even need the lines. <laughs> you okay. can't pull that thing down. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Shahrukh, a chit. Oh wow. Katrina, you get to pick the lucky girl who's, who Shahrukh's going to deliver that line to. Uh, the lady in the black and, um, yeah, yes, you. You get this scorecard, so after Shahrukh does that, you know, tries to woo you, you get to hold the, the card up. It's got a tick and a cross. So it says, if you, if you don't get out of my face, I will slap the hell out of you. Yeah. Yeah? What's your name, darling? Aditi. Aditi. Nice to meet you, Aditi. Nice to meet yeah, you. No oh, nice time here. If you don't get out of my face, <laughs> I'm gonna slap the hell out of you. I take that as a yes, Aditi. Where's the card going? Okay. You want to? I need both the cards. Can I do this? Yeah. <laughs> Whatever that is. Okay. Thank you very much.
Big, big, big shout. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you so much. Shout out just for fun. Should we do another one? Okay. You read after me, please. Chal Dhanu, aaj tere hi basanti ki zat ka sawal hai. Katrina, they said boys, boys also wanted. The girl in the corner. आपका नाम क्या है प्रीति? प्रीति. Okay. I've been waiting for 15 years to see you. Really? Yes. And how old are you now? Is it okay to ask? Twenty-nine. Okay, you look wonderful, <laughs> mashallah. You have to look into my eyes and let me try. Chal dhanu. I am ready. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I can say ga. Ah, chal dhanu. Aaj ham dono ki zat ka sawal hai. Aur ham jo hai, dono ki zat lutwa ke yahenge. You the card. Sir, just by popular demand, because they've taken trouble to come up with these clever lines. One more, just for fun. Boys, 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 boys. The boys want to be wooed as well. Okay, fine. Come. Yeah. Oh, you man, what's your name? Correct, touch. Are you done? God. Thank you, thank you very much. And which is your name? Girish. Girish. Okay, Girish. Now, see, this is a little difficult for me. Yes. So what I'm going to do is because Katrina picked this up. Yes. And Anushka has been helping me. I'm going to use them to patau you. Is that all right? Just hold his hand. Okay. Ab Girish. Agli awaz jo tum sunoge. वो कटरीना कैफ और अनुष्का शर्मा की होगी ओके okay. okay? दोनों का गला थोड़ा खराब है तो हो सकता है थोड़ी ग्रफ साउंड करे तुम्हारे बाई तरफ जो है अनुष्का है और दाई तरफ कटरीना एंड दे आर बोथ सेंग टू यू द ग्रीन काव डांस ऑन टॉप ऑफ द मून आई यू इन लव नाउ Is that is that good? Yeah. Thank you very much, man. God bless you and do very well. I think these cards safely go out of the window. Yeah, I think they do very well. Sort of, what is the really the power that you have? What is the the secret to really making people fall in love with you? To be honest, and I will say it to them because a lot of them are young people here. They will get very happy in love. They'll get disappointed in love sometimes. But I truly believe if you if you want to love or be loved, you have to give. Uh, you don't have to have any reservations. There can't be any egos, and you have to respect the person that you love. Somehow, whatever lines you're doing, and uh, it needs to just surround you, okay. and you need to just hold the person. And it's not about looking in the eyes and all. It's just how you feel. Right. So I'm uh, very unabashedly saying that I love the ladies that I work with. Um, these two wonderful ladies are easiest to love with, okay. because uh, they're so kind and so beautiful. And uh, I think, I think, uh, <clears throat> I've, I've won their trust. Okay. Even if uh, uh, Katrina is uh, shoddily dressed, I love her for how she is. <laughs> if Anushka's hair is bad, I love her for <laughs> how she is. And I'm, I'm, and and uh, are you are you gonna stop loving me, both of you, right here, right now? <laughs> no, but I'm uh, jokes apart. It's just as like that. You accept the person as as they are. I, I love you. Valuable lessons from none other than Shahrukh Khan. We're going to take a short break on the show right now. When we come back, more fun and games with the cast of Jab Tak Hai Jaan. Don't go away. We'll be back in just a few minutes. Yo, yo, pehle, tu, hey, yo, yo, pehle us aadmi ka sign le karao jisne mere baap se sign liya tha. Yo, pehle us aadmi ka sign le ke aao jisne meri maa ko naukri se nikal diya tha. Chao, aur us pehle aadmi us aadmi se karte baaja. Welcome back to our special show. We are here in conversation with Anushka Sharma, Shah Rukh Khan, and Katrina Kaif. Guys, a Yash Chopra romance is really a genre in itself, isn't it? I remember talking to Anushka and Katrina the last time, and I remember you said that it was a big deal for both of you when you were cast in Yash Ji's film, in Jab Tak Hai Jaan. I have to ask, when you were making the film, did you know it was something special? Did it feel like something special? Did it feel unlike making any other film? I don't think you. Um 
need to or you or you find the need to feel that way because the fact that you're in a Yash Chopra film, right. it's already special. Okay. You know that it's going to be um, something like you, you've not done before. Sure. So I don't think, I, I think it's just a, and then you just go and you enjoy the experience. At least right. that's what it was for me. Katrina? For me, it was not only being in a Yes Chopra film, it was also, I think, kind of in a way, um, my first serious romantic film. And that, that genre in itself, I think, is probably the most difficult genre. Uh, but Yes G as a, as a director was actually one of the... He didn't take himself seriously. Okay. I mean, we all have so, had so, you know, have so much respect for him. Right. And you, know, you think you're going to have to behave very properly. Mm. But actually, he was only joking the whole time and only making you know making people laugh and having fun he didn't take it seriously or himself seriously Shahrukh, you know you knew the real Yash Chopra and you knew him for many years uh, what was he like I mean Katrina says he, he didn't and even Anushka said he didn't really expect that kind of reverence or, or respect let me be very honest and I, I may be wrong because I haven't worked with enough of them but honestly you know what happens the people who are genuinely iconic they are the least ones uh, who take themselves seriously. Okay. Uh, the idiots who take themselves too seriously and you know behave in a certain way yeah. is actually they are on the defensive. You know that they're trying to show that listen, I'm very serious. Huh? That's why I'm who I am. Right. You know, and Yesji was, uh, I think, genuinely uh, the biggest of the biggest. Okay. So I, when I worked with him, also the reason we got so close is that uh, you know I I kind of recognized that in the first meeting that I had with him. Okay. You know, I met him when we started shooting Dar. And um, somewhere in the 15 or 20 days after work, and he just turned around. And the way he used to joke, and all I did with Mr. Yash Chopra ever was talk about everything else except the film. Okay. It had reached such a stage in our lives that I didn't want to know the story. I didn't want to know what we are shooting. And every time he would come, yar, tu pata to kya hai? Scene kya shoot kar do? Shoot kya shoot kya kar do? Pata to kya? Tu kya yar? Tu baat an karta yar. So I'm like, Yash, tell me who I have to come. Acha chal, jabi ba, jabi ba chal. So we never, we never discussed stuff, and he was so nice. You know, we've never worked with Yash Chopra, but is it fair to say that you know his romantic films are the ones that really taught us to love in a sense and and give us a sense of film love? I want to play for you my favorite song from Jab Tak Hai Jaan. Let's see Saas. Very lovely. You know, when we tend to talk about Yash Chopra's films, we tend to only remember the romantic films. We only tend to talk about him as the king of romance. But the truth is that he made... He was, a, he was probably one of the most versatile filmmakers who made a lot of very fine films, Ittifaq and Vakt and Trishul and Diwar. Do you have favorites? Mine is uh, Kalapathar, okay. Diwar, Trishul. As a matter of fact, when I started off working with him, you know, Dar was kind of like that. Right. You know, a little intense and psychopathic yeah. for me. And uh, so I thought, this is what I'm going to do with Mr. Yash Chopra. Mm. You know, I'll make my own Diwar one day and I'll do my own Gire Vepe Se Mihaj Bhe Nahi Uthata. Right. You know, kind of stuff. Yeah, so I, that was really kicked. But he had turned into a romantic by then. Right. And for the last 20 years, every time we start a film, whether with Adi or Yash Ji, I'm always like, Yash Ji, ye wali to Diwar jaisi hai na? <laughs> uh, and he says, no, no, yaar, wo bekar, tu ki or ke saath karo wali. Me se sirf pyaar kar. <laughs> As a tribute to Yashji, what we did was we asked your fans, we asked the audience to poll in their favorite lines from Yash Chopra films. And the most popular one, we thought we'd play out first and then ask you to do it your way. That's the cut. <coughs> I, I'm, I, I seriously have to be here? Yeah, yeah. Okay. yeah. Mm. Go! 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 Go!
if, if nothing else, I get to, uh, 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 you know, have a good feeling with her. <laughs> okay. Jao. Jao, pehle us aadmi ka sign le karao. Jisne mere baap se sign liya tha. Jao, pehle us aadmi ka sign le karao. Jisne meri maa ko naukri se nikal diya tha. Jao. Pehle us aadmi se sign le karao. Jisne mere haat par ye le liya tha. Phir uske baad, meri jaan. जिस कागज पर कहोगी जहां कहोगी मैं साइन कर दूंगा जब तक है जान डोंट गो वे विल बी राइट बैक वी टेकन ऑफ द फेसेस ऑफ द एक्टर्स एंड वी वॉन्ट थ्री ऑफ यू टू गेस द नेम ऑफ द फिल्म अनुष्का यू गो दीवार कभी कभी ओके वेलकम बैक टू आर स्पेशल शो विद द कास्ट ऑफ जब तक है जान आई हैव टू आस्क यू नो एवरी टाइम देर इज अ फिल्म विथ टू हीरोइंस दीज रूमर्स always will fly they didn't get along temper tantrums ego hassles there's been none of that this time did the two of you just not have too many scenes together or did you all really was it really a, a good set i i got along with katrina and i think she did too okay. um so it really is about that um katrina was telling me the other day that she has acted with like she's been in films where yeah. there, there have been other actresses in which one <laughs> Where you may not have gotten along with people, but mm. I think me and Katrina, we got along just fine. On top of that, both of us, you know, for the two of us, I'm just going on talking for her. But um, it was like my first uh, time working with Yashchi, so was it for her. Um, and at the end of the day, you know, it's really uh, these things. Um, even before something can happen, like they'll start writing about it, right? Because uh, then they can question us about it, like right. this, and then we answer, and then it plays on uh, TV or. impress sure. um so so um i think you are working as a team all of us um and um it's too special a film for you know for the three of us maybe in another film me and katrina would have fought okay. <laughs> but now this this one we didn't this fight this one you know okay katrina i mean apart from just the one time where she pulled my hair and the the <laughs> one one time i stole her makeup and you know the one time i purposely covered her light like you know purposely blocked it out so she wasn't you know not seen properly yeah we got along really well just the part <laughs> just the part from those three things okay now again continuing our tribute to yashi what we've done is we've got stills pictures from his films we've taken out the faces of the mm. actors and we want the three of you to guess the name of the film let's see the first one acha now chalo anushka know. anushka you go diwar wrong Are you answer katrina <laughs> oh confident i get i get kabhi kabhi wrong answer <laughs> <laughs> Go when, for it, Charuk. So, one zero, Kala Patthar. Kala Patthar. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, let's see the next. Charuk, which of the girls is going to go first? Not me, for sure. Can't say that. Hey, don't do. <laughs> you know this. I, I can see. I can see all these girls. You can't. Please close your eyes. No, I just. I was just looking. Charuk, come on, girls. Looking. Go for it, sportingly. Okay, whoever wants to answer. Hey. Katrina will go first. Chalo Anushka go. Yeah. Who told you? I know this. I know this. Go go for it Anushka go. Um She's pretending to think. Yeah, she's acting. Wait, I'm I'm a little confused between two films. Okay, I know all the films. Um, two films and yeah. Is that Trishul? It is Trishul. That was good. Anushka that was very good. Smart one. Okay, let's see the next one. Katrina This I'm asking you. This I want from you, Katrina. Why should I? Divar. Divar is right. That was Divar. Well done. Should we see another? Katrina Anushka. I don't. I don't know the name of the film, but I can tell you who the actor is. That's Rishi Kapoor. Okay. Anushka, you want to think who the actress is? I'm looking at the fashion, actually. <laughs> Have you morphed Chandni. the background? No, Chandni. No. Is it? Chandni. 
and therefore the actress is yeah, Rishi Kapoor. Then has to be Shivani. Then has to be Chandni. Well done. I didn't hear Rishi Kapoor. No, but didn't he do two films with Rishi? Only no, one. Just one. Well done, Chandni. It was. Okay, let's see the next one. Okay. Okay. Oh shit, Martin. No. Yeah, you can't. I'm a little confused. Uh, ah, now to you only guess it. Consider. I'm not going to say if it's right or wrong, but I'm going to ask Anushka because if I say what it is, then she will. Hello. Kabi kabi. I change it. She changed it. Kabi kabi. It is. So this one is for Sharu. <coughs> this must be work, actually. If this is a well Rajkumar done, yeah. Rajkumar. Who is this? I think it's Rajkumar sir. Yeah. And Sadhna ji. That's right. Should we see another? <coughs> Silsila. Okay, good. Well done. That was a simple one. <coughs> Let me pause. And we have one more. Katrina. <laughs> Look at me. Look at my eyes. Dil to pagal hai. That is correct. Aren't you wondering why there are two Shahrukhs there? <laughs> it's that song, no? Chalo, dekha do. Very cool. Okay. And I'm really glad both of them know Yes, Ji Swims only from the time I joined. That's so, right. I'm, I'm That's a good one. Correct, That's yeah. a good one. You know, when we think of Yash Chopra heroines, you inevitably think of the color white. And I asked Yash Ji when I met him last year, and he said he loved the color white because it stands for purity. Um, have you all have there been many white outfits in this film so far? I think you know yeah Yashi from whatever um the costume the all the costume trials we had in the film he he was not really honestly to bother about western clothes he would be like yeah it looks nice i mean nice dress i think that's a dress right yeah okay dress fine <laughs> okay. he was like that but the only time i saw him passionately discuss and be involved in um in colors in design in styles and like strap details and Embroidery was when we did the costume fitting for the romantic song, which was to be shot in Switzerland. Okay. So where Manish had brought uh, 15 or 18 saris to try on, and yes, she uh, made us try. I mean, like he would request that we try on each uh, sari, and he would come in so quickly. He would just look at it. I don't like this border. I don't want that embroidery, and this color doesn't suit your skin. So out. Okay. I'm being a documentary filmmaker right. in the film, so you know I'm dressed a certain way. You can you can see that in the trailers. Um, When he actually walked into my costume trial, he walks in, and Manish Malhotra is there. I'm there, and Adi is there. He walks in, he looks at the rack, and he's like, "Hmm, second-hand clothes? What did you get? And Sharuk, you get to wear the uniform. Yeah. And I think it's fair to say that really, there's you know, for time immemorial, since sort of Rajesh Khanna wore that uniform in Radhana, I think the uniform there's nothing sort of that looks better on a man than. Sort of his his you know a defense uniform. Um, Fauji, you st it's really been a circle, hasn't it? It's been a long time. I always wanted to join the army when I was young. You know how how kids want to be astronauts or join the army, and uh, I got the opportunity in Fauji, and I was really thrilled. Mm. But there was a guy who was reluctant to be a part of the army, and you know gets forced in, and right. then does fight for the country. Uh, in here, I think it's a choice that he makes. Uh, uh, you know, for actually. Uh, passing of the rest of his life, mm. and uh, I met one gentleman uh, who was helping us out with the army. So my biggest compliment is he came to me and says, "Hello, sir. You don't know me. I'm doing everything here. I said, "Gee, thank you." And my colonel, so and so, I forget his name. Okay. So I said, "Yeah." I thought I was smart in the army uniform, but you look good. Okay. 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 For once, it makes me look really macho and cool. Yeah, also, so. what I have to say, and I think I speak for everyone here, what you wear better than most other people is really the stubble. Um, oh, yeah. Fair to say? Yeah. You heard that before? No, I'm, I'm feeling shy that you're complimenting me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay. <laughs> okay. 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 <laughs> Let's play another song from Jab Tak Hai Jaan that I like very much. It's a song called GRA. Let's take a look.
Anushka, I've been wanting to ask this question ever since I saw this song. Was it cold in Kashmir in those shots? Was it really cold? Uh, it was cold. I think nights were nights were cold, yeah. It was a nice. It was a yeah, and also your dancing and your running Kashan, around. Wearing good. full clothes, yeah. Not always, but that's not on uh, screen yet. <laughs> we're going to take another very short break on the show. When we come back, more fun and games with the cast of Jab Tak Hai Jaan. Don't go away. We'll be back in just a few minutes. तेरी आँखों की नमकीन मस्तियाँ, तेरी हँसी की पेपरवागुस्ता किया, तेरी जुल्फों की लहराती अंगड़ाइयाँ। Special show joining us in the studio today are Katrina Kaif, Shahrukh Khan, and Anushka Sharma. Shahrukh, the the poem in the trailer, it's got some beautiful lines. I have to ask who's written it, and I read somewhere Gulzar Saab, somewhere I read it's Aditya Chopra. You, of course, recited those lines in the poem. Whose words are those? Uh, actually, you know what? Uh, we didn't have the title of the film. First, okay. they were written by Aditya Chopra, okay. uh, not Gulzar Saab. Uh, the reason for writing them was also that. Uh, uh, you know, the title wasn't uh, settled until nearly a month before we started the promotion, or ten days before the promotion started. Right. And just stand alone. Uh, you know, initially films have a title, then you grow with it for a year, mm. uh, and then you kind of know it must be like this. You, you, you get used to it. Right. But now here's a film, ten days before the release, you don't have the title. Right. Um, you need to give it a context, mm. and I think the context would only come through if there was something attached to it, which is the essence of the film. So, Tari Aankho Ki Namkeen Mastiyaan, Tari Hasi Ki Be Parwa Gustakhiyaan, तेरे जुल्फों की लहराती अंगड़ाइयाँ नहीं भूलूंगा मैं जब तक है जान एंड द सेकंड पार्ट इस द फर्स्ट पार्ट ऑफ लव वेर दैट काइंड ऑफ लव आई हैव आई मीन एवरीथिंग अबाउट यू सो वंडरफुली ब्यूटीफुल एंड देन देस द सेकंड पार्ट दैट यू नो तेरा हाथ से हाथ छोड़ना तेरे सायों का रुख मोड़ so that context uh, is the reason the poem was attached to the title. I know that all of you all know the lines. Would you, Sharuk, would you... You know, can I just tell you something? I mean, I, I know it may take a bit for both of them, but I've been training them okay. because I'm sick and tired of doing these lines for these girls again okay. and again. So I've trained them now okay. <coughs> because, um, like, I, I, I want girls to say these things to me now. Right. <laughs> You understand? It's been it's been too long. I want to be I want to be the object of desire. Sure. I want to be treated like a love object. Okay. Yeah. I don't want to be this guy playing guitar, chilla, chilla, chilla. Fair enough. Jiare, jiare, thak gaya hu main. Ladkiyon ko patate patate. So please, I would request these girls to do it for me. So half of it, uh, if you'd give it a shot, and if you forget, I would I would help you. Teri aankhon ki namkeen mastiya, teri hansi ki paper wagusta kya, teri zulfo ki lehrati angraiya. नहीं भूलूंगी मैं जब तक है जान जब तक है जान कमाल यू कैन डू इट फाइन तेरा हाथ से हाथ छोड़ना तेरे सायों का रुख मोड़ना तेरा पलट के फिर ना देखना तेरा पलट के फिर ना देखना नहीं माफ करूंगी मैं नहीं माफ करूंगी मैं जब तक है जान जब तक है जान लवली she doesn't speak Hindi well. No, she does it. I'm honestly telling you, she does it very, very well. You know, sometimes I, we've noticed it now. Uh, you know, on live shows and stuff, she gets a little uh, sure. uh, uh, held back. But when she comes for that, you know, I was hoping. I'm telling you honestly, the first day when I was shooting with her, so I was hoping she'll come and you know, she fumble karega my ko acho ka or something like that. And she came and she said her lines so straight and more should Hindi than I speak actually. You know, okay. so well she's a little soft. Because you know, I guess she's uh, processing it, right. but absolutely all right and fantastic, yeah. And then I had to go back and start learning up my lines because I thought I'll do it again, like this. Finally, I have to ask the three of you. You know, the film is ready for release. It's going to be out on the 13th of November. Really, what are you hoping that the audience takes away? You've said that this is unlike any other release. It's 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 more special than you know the typical release that you have. What are you hoping that the audience will take away when they go into the cinemas? 
on the 13th? I'm a star because of Mr. Yash Chopra, let me be honest. And um, in 20 years, uh, started my career and now his, I'm part of his last film. He was very honest as a filmmaker, very untouched by uh, the business aspect of films, though he's always made uh, business sensible films. Um, and he was very pure, you mm -hmm. know, like the white you were talking about. He genuinely was pure. Right. He's never really looked at anything. The simplicity, film gets over, he used to feel sad and cry at the end of the shooting, which yeah. I don't know how many people do anymore. There was a sense of emptiness for him. After the release, Sunday a call comes, Yaar kuch acha ho gaya yaar, kuch upar wale ne bacha li hai. Okay. There was humility. He made films only about human relations and I, I would like everyone in this time and age um, to go there uh, in, in a world which is a little fast, a little cynical, a little too realistic at times. I would like them to come on Friday or whenever they're coming earlier, Tuesday uh, 13th and uh, go back with the feeling of uh, with, with the goodness, make love, not war. Okay, okay. I think it's, it's, um, it's the last film of India's actually, I think, most loved and most well-known director. Sure. Which I think is a pretty, um, a pretty big thing. And it's not only that, it, it's also a film by someone who's made not only six, so many successful films, but so many iconic films. Yeah. Like the game we were just playing. If you, I mean, how many films can you really just take one still and everyone in the audience knew what film it was? Right. So he's really made great films. He was a great man and a great filmmaker. So I think for me, the film is a lot about him, not just us. Okay. Anushka? Well, you've pretty much said it all, but um, I think I, if I, I have seen the film, if um, I was the audience, and even if I wasn't in the film, I would take my boyfriend to this film, okay. make him sit there and say, see, that's the way you love. <laughs> <laughs> For that reason, these girls, I'm serious, like, just take your boyfriends and go. I think the simplicity of uh, emotions, okay. of love, um, and the, the delicate nuances that only Yash Chopra can bring out. Right and make you feel all nice and mushy and hopeful, I think for that you should watch up the Khecha. I think okay. hopeful is a good word, yeah. Okay. I think the three of us and everyone who's made this film in a very positive way about life, the positivity, uh, hopefulness of life is what you should take away from this hopeful. film. Yeah. Hopeful. Okay. Okay. Well, here's wishing you all the best. Here's hoping we hear firecrackers this Diwali. Thank you. Thank you so much for talking to us. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you also for being a terrific audience. But Sharuk, this tradition at CNN IBN to all three of you. You can't come to our studio and go away without showing us a few steps to one of your songs. This is to, to the one dance track in your film, Jab Tak Hai Jaan. You'll hear the music behind you. A few steps, all three of you. <laughs> Zara 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 zara, pass it to a pushan. 